very important and simple concept is if two lines are parallel if two lines are parallel their slopes are equal because they told the line is parallel to 4x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 i told if two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal means you should interchange the coefficients of x and y so quotient of x becomes b and quotient of y becomes minus a now put k is equals to minus 4 in Welcome to the session dear students. Now we will continue with straight lines. X is 17.4. Find the equation of line parallel to the key of three problems parallel to the line and passing through a point and passing through a point and parallel to a line and passing through a so three, three cases they give. Three different problems are there. One by one let us solve. Before we go to this, very important and simple concept is if two lines are parallel, if two lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. And one more interesting fact is, say, please make a note of this. If two lines are parallel, if two lines are parallel, then slopes are equal. Then slopes are equal. M1 equal to what? M2. But always to go round about it will take a lot of time. That's why we have another special case that is a line, a line parallel to a line parallel to ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is ax plus by plus k is equal to 0. Dear students, if I give any line like ax plus by plus c equal to 0, for that the parallel line will be same ax plus by plus k. Only the constant will be different. And other important point is, suppose if any line passes through any point, if any line passes through any point, it should satisfy the line equation. If It means you can substitute the point in the line. So one by one, let us solve. So now find the equation of the line. And that line is parallel to 4x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0 and passes through 4 comma 1. Solution is simple. Now, line, required line is, required line is, for this line it is parallel. So, required line also will be in the same form. Required line is 4x plus 3y plus in spite of 2 we will write k is equal to 0. Because they told the line is parallel to 4x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0. I told if two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. Or if a line parallel to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is ax plus by plus k. Means for any given line, parallel line will be similar. It will have same x, same y values, but only constant we assume k. So call it as equation 1. This is your answer. But we don't know the value of k. But they gave a hint. Line passes through 4 comma 1. Dear students, if any line passes through any point, you can put the point in the line equation. So now, 1 means line passes through, they give, 1 is passing through or 1 line passes through, it is passing through what? 4 comma 1. So now in the place of x, y, you can substitute. So for it, line is passing through 4 comma 1, they told. If any line passes through any point, you can substitute the point in the line equation. Means in the place of x put 4, in the place of y put 1. So if you do that, it will become 4 into 4 plus 3 into 1 plus k equal to 0. Simplify this. 4 4 is a 16 plus 3 plus k equal to 0. So rearrange and solve. When you rearrange and solve, 19 plus k is equal to 0 and k becomes minus 19. Now you got the value of k, call it as equation 2. Now substitute the k in equation 1. So substitute, put k is equal to minus 19 in 1. Then we will get, therefore line is 4x plus 3y minus 19 is equal to 0. This is the required line. So they wanted you to find a line parallel to 4x plus 3y plus 2 equal to 0. What is a line parallel to 4x plus 3y plus 2? 4x plus 3y plus k. Only we, k is equal to 0. We don't know the value of k. In order to find the value of k, they gave a hint. Line is passing through point 4 comma 1. Now in this line equation, in the place of x and y put 4 comma 1. In the place of x put 4. In the place of y 
put one y coordinate and solve it, you'll get k. After you get k, substitute the k value in the place of k in equation 1. Then it will become 4x plus 3y plus k is what? Minus 19. So then 4x plus 3y minus 19 is equal to 0 as the required line. Same way, we can solve. So line is passing through 2 comma 2. And again, line is parallel to 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0. So solution we need to find the line. So required line is parallel to the given line. So therefore, so required line is, required line is 2x minus 3y plus k equal to 0. This is the required line. This is our line. Because it's parallel to this line, I told you. If a line is parallel to ax plus by plus c equal to 0, then it will be in the form ax plus by plus k. So line parallel to 2x minus 3y plus 1 is 2x minus 3y plus k. Only the constant we should write k. This is our answer. But we need to find k. In order to find k, they gave a hint that line passes through 2 comma 2. If any line passes through any point, you can put the point in the line equation. So now 2 comma 2 means this is x coordinate, this is y coordinate, passes through, they have given this, passes through what? Our line equation 1. So now substitute 2 comma 2 in the line equation, means in the place of x put x coordinate of the point, in the place of y put y coordinate of the point. So now equation 1 becomes 2 into, in the place of x put x coordinate minus 3 into y coordinate plus k. Now solve this, you will get the value of k. 2 to the 4 minus 6 plus k is equal to 0. That is minus 2 plus k is equal to 0. Simplify this, you will get k value. So you will get k is equal to 2. So after you get k is equal to 2, substitute 2 in 1. Substitute equation 2. Substitute k is equal to 2 in equation 1. What is equation 1? 2x minus 3y plus k plus 2 is equal to 0 is the required line, is the line, that's it, this is the answer, 2x minus 3y plus 2 equal to 0. So first for any line, parallel line means same, 2x minus 3y plus 1 equal to 0, for this parallel line is 2x minus 3y plus k equal to 0, instead of constant rate k, then put the point, because line is passing through the point, put the point in the line equation, putting the point in the line equation means what, in the place of x put x coordinate, in the place of y put y coordinate, x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is 2, in the place of x and y put 2, 2, solve it, you will get k, after you get k, resubstitute the value of k in the place of k and you will get the equation of line. Similarly, they gave one more, it passes through minus 2, 4 and parallel to 3x minus 4y plus 1 equal to 0. Again, therefore, required line is, required line is, what is the required line? For this line, it is parallel. So, required line will be 3x minus 4y plus k equal to 0. This is our line and call it as equation 1. And they also told it passes through minus 2 comma 4. So, Substitute means line means 1 passes through, they have given 1 is passing through the point minus 2 comma 4 means in the place of x and y substitute x coordinate and y coordinate because line passes through any point means then the point should satisfy the line equation. So now put the x value in the place of x coordinate. So x coordinate is what? Minus 2 in the place of x I will put minus 4 into y coordinate is 4 plus k is equal to 0. Now solve this equation to get k. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. Minus 16 plus k is equal to 0. It will be minus 22 plus k is equal to 0. And rearrange, you will get k. So k is equal to 22, you will get, call it as 2. Now put k is equals to 22 in equation 1. What is equation 1? 3x minus 4y plus 22 equal to 0 is the line required. That's it. I hope all of you got this. Then similarly find the equation of line perpendicular to the given. Perpendicular to the first line and passing through a point. Before we start this, if two lines are perpendicular, you know that product of slopes is minus 1. Using this condition, we can derive an equation perpendicular. So all of you remember, line, a line, perpendicular to a 
लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो इज बी एक्स माइनस ए वाई प्लस के अनोन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज अ लाइन परपेंडिकुलर मींस यू शुड इंटरचेंज द कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो क्वेश्चंट ऑफ एक्स बिकम्स बी एंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ वाई बिकम्स माइनस ए नॉट प्लस ए सो बी एक्स माइनस ए वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो इज द लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू द गिवन लाइन एंड एज यूजल इफ एनी लाइन पास थ्रू एनी पॉइंट यू कैन सब्सिट्यूट द पॉइंट इन द लाइन इक्वेशन सो नाउ फर्स्ट पॉइंट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस लाइन एंड दट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू थ्री एक्स माइनस टू वाई प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पासिंग थ्रू दिस सो नाउ रिक्वायर्ड लाइन इज रिक्वायर्ड लाइन इज बी एक्स माइनस ए वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज इट इज परपेंडिकुलर बी मीन्स माइनस टू सो हियर ए मीन्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्स थ्री बी मीन्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ वाई माइनस टू बी एक्स मीन्स माइनस टू एक्स माइनस ए मीन्स माइनस ए थ्री वाई प्लस के इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द लाइन इक्वेशन कॉल इट एज वन नाउ वन पास थ्रू देखिए वन इज पासिंग थ्रू ए पॉइंट वन पास थ्रू द पॉइंट वॉट इज द पॉइंट वन कम माइनस टू मीन्स इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स कॉर्डिनेट यू पुट वन इन द प्लेस ऑफ वाई कॉर्डिनेट पुट माइनस टू देन यूल गेट माइनस टू इंटू वन माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो सिंप्लीफाई दिस इट विल बिकम माइनस टू प्लस सिक्स प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज फोर प्लस के इज इक्वल टू जीरो और के वैल्यू विल गेट माइनस फोर कॉल इट एस टू नाउ पुट के इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर इन वन देन इक्वेशन वन बिकम्स माइनस टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज द लाइन इक्वेशन नो मल्टीप्लाई माइनस ऑन बोथ साइड्स इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई माइनस ऑन बोथ साइड्स इट बिकम टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस फोर इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज ऑलवेज फाइनल आंसर शुड बी इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सो एक्स क्वेश्चन शुड बी पॉजिटिव आई मल्टीप्लाइड सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड नेक्स्ट फाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन परपेंडिकुलर टू थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस वन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड पासिंग थ्रू दिस से फ्रॉम दिस लाइन ए इज थ्री बी मीन्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ वाई दट इज बी इज क्वेश्चन ऑफ वाई वट इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ वाई विथ वाई वॉट वी हैव विथ वाई वी हैव टू नाउ रिक्वायर्ड लाइन सो रिक्वायर्ड लाइन इज बी एक्स माइनस ए वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो आई टोल यू इफ ए लाइन इज परपेंडिकुलर टू ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल जीरो देन इट विल बी इन द फॉर्म पी एक्स माइनस ए वाई प्लस के इक्वल टू जीरो वट इज बी हियर टू एक्स माइनस a is what 3 y plus k equal to what 0 this is the answer but we want to find k in order to find k they told it passes through minus 2 comma 1 so means 1 means our line passes through 1 passes through they told 1 passes through minus 2 comma 1 means in the place of x coordinate x in the place of x put x coordinate in the place of y put y coordinate so it will become 2 into minus 2 minus 3 into 1 plus k equal to 0 solving this you will get the value of k minus 4 minus 3 plus k equal to 0 or minus 7 plus k equal to 0 or k is equal to what 7 you will get call it as 2 so now put k is equals to 7 in equation 1 then equation 1 becomes 2x sorry Equation one becomes two x minus three y plus seven equal to zero. This is the required line. Next, similarly, they want you to find the line perpendicular to three x minus four y plus seven equal to zero and passing through phi minus one. So, what will be the here? What is a? A is three and b is minus four. And required line. What is required line? Required line is. Required line is b x minus a y plus k equal to zero. So what is b minus four x minus three y plus k equal to zero? Simplify this. Or call this as equation one. And one passes through. They give a hint. One is passing through the point. One is passing through what? Phi comma minus one. So in the place of x put x coordinate. In the place of y put y coordinate. In the one equation one. So it will become minus four into phi minus three into minus one plus k equal to zero. Simplify. Minus twenty plus three plus k equal to zero. So minus seventeen plus k equal to zero. So what is k? K is seventeen. So you got the value of k now. So now substitute this. Put k. Put K is equal to seventeen in one. 
So equation 1 becomes minus 4x minus 3y plus 17 equal to 0. Multiply minus on both sides. 4x plus 3y minus 17 equal to 0. This is the equation of the line. I hope all of you understood this. Today we have done problems which are parallel for a given line ax plus by plus c equal to 0. Parallel is ax plus by plus k. Perpendicular is bx minus ay plus k equal to 0. Please sit and practice the problems. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.